Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. In the final excerpt from the Space Within audiobook, I'm going to be talking about mojo, that innate confidence that's one of the keys to high performance. In the movie Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, Dr. Evil attempts to thwart the heroic title character by stealing his mojo. And apart from the fact that Mojo is invisible to the eye and can't actually be stolen by anyone else, this is a fantastic evil plan. Because when a person has their Mojo working, anything is possible. When it's not, they struggle to get out of bed in the morning, and even more to take on the challenges and opportunities of the day. While the dictionary tells us that Mojo originally referred to a magical charm bag used in African hoodoo, it also defines it as follows. Mojo. Noun, a power that may seem magical and that allows someone to be very effective, successful, etc. In my work unleashing the human potential with people from all walks of life, I see the impact of this kind of natural confidence play out in every facet of our lives. When we have our mojo working, we can move mountains. When we lose our mojo, the mountains seem to be three times the height, and the possibility that they might be moved doesn't even occur to us. Fortunately, we can't really lose our mojo, because it isn't really a magical power. It's a description of the feeling we get when we're conscious of the intelligence and energy of spirit running through us. When we're in touch with that invisible energy, we're live wires, filled with power and capable of creating sparks of inspiration and lighting up whatever we touch. The feeling of losing our mojo comes when we get caught up in our thinking and lose touch with that connection to source. It's like unplugging from the mains and running on battery power instead. At first, we might not notice the difference. The screen dims a bit, things turn off more quickly, and some functions are disabled to preserve battery life. But over time, as our batteries get really run down, we're operating with so little power we can barely keep the lights on, let alone light up the world. If you're trying to achieve great things with your life, chances are you know that feeling all too well. You're doing your best, but you're doing it on spit and vinegar instead of gasoline and motor oil. Instead of a V8 engine, you've got a squirrel on a wheel chasing a peanut under the hood. Sure, the system is still up and running, but only at a level which allows you to stay the course. There's just not enough power available to break through and move forward. It feels as though you're on your own, and the only way something is going to happen is if you make it happen, running on 5% battery and hoping you can get everything done before you run out of juice. But the only reason you ever feel powerless is because you're out of touch with the deeper mind. And no matter how long you've been running on battery power and no matter how run down you think you are, the moment you plug back into the mains, normal service will be resumed. Everything begins working as designed, and you regain access to all the features. That's what finding your mojo really is, finding your way back home and plugging back into the universal mind. The moment you do, you'll notice your apparent problem shrinking down to size. You're running on full power even while your system is recharging. You feel whole again, and your capacity to handle whatever life sends your way with creativity, ease, and grace returns to the natural factory preset. I hope you've enjoyed these excerpts from the Space Within audiobook. You can get your own copy at michaelneal.org forward slash store forward slash audiobook. And that is the last Caffeine for the Soul podcast of 2016. We have over 75 episodes, which is kind of amazing when you consider that we had zero episodes and didn't even have the idea for the podcast at the beginning of the year. And we're actually going to be on a hiatus for a little while because beginning in January, I am going to be hosting the Creating the Impossible 90-Day program. And there you get a bite-sized, Caffeine for the Soul-sized audio every day, Monday to Friday, but it's part of a theme that develops over the course of the program as you take a project that you really, really, really want to see come into being, but you really, really, really think there's no way in hell it's going to work, and I coach you through it, both through videos and audios and live webinar coaching, and we 
get that idea out of your head and out into the world in the 90 days of the program. So you can learn more about that at michaelneal.org forward slash impossible or at creatingtheimpossible.net. Until next year, have fun, learn heaps, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.